everyone welcome back to jesse at home i am so excited about today's video we are doing a refresh in my entryway i'm just throwing it back and showing you what it looked like when we first moved into this house it had um this like mustard brown walls um which i guess now are kind of on trend that's like a, a color that's in style right now but it definitely needed a refresh because it had um, dents and dings in it um, and I picked agreeable gray to go out through my entire house and I, I really like agreeable gray it's a very good neutral it's not too gray in my opinion um, it just it definitely has like a beigey undertone to it um, and we decided in April and March of last year when I was pregnant with Malcolm to rip up all of the flooring in the main living room to put this seamless like look so everything we had carpet in the dining room we had um, that laminate in the dining room um, the entryway in Malcolm's room so now all of the main living room has the same um, flooring which I think looks really really nice as well we check out those uh, sconces just because they were not really my vibe but as you can see the front door and the stairs just really clash with the flooring and the in the new paint it was finally time to do something about that so um, I just decided to paint the front door white we did colored uh, black doors in my previous house and I love that look but um, I really needed something more light and bright and I just wanted the doors to match. I like a white door with the dark hardware. I think that looks so pretty. So we're just going with the white on this front door for the interior side and it really lightens up this whole entire area. Eventually we would like to maybe replace this door. This is not a real wood door, but it is a huge <laughs> door as you can see. Um, I was thinking maybe like a door with a transom up top or maybe some glass inserts or maybe even some Scott si si side lights sorry some side lights or maybe like little portal windows or something up here because we have no natural light in the entryway and um, it'd be really nice to get some some a little bit lighter and brighter in here So I am using um, Bullseye, Zinzer Bullseye 123 to do a two coats of primer on this door because I want a really good coverage and bonding. And then I'm going to just do um, bare, just off the shelf bare white, ultra white um, enamel paint. Um, and it really does a beautiful job of lightening up this entire area. I am so in love with it and I think it looks so good. Now this is the project, not the door, but the stairs. This is the project that has literally taken me the entire month of October. I kind of disappeared for a while because every waking moment took up this little makeover and I wanted to get it done before I did my Christmas decorating. So I just barely made it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Definitely hit that thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do a lot of cleaning motivation and um, just organizing i'm trying to get my life together i just had um a baby he's a little boy a little toddler who is just running around acting crazy and i'm just trying to get my life together get my life organized um so i'd love it if you come along with me as i try to get my life together and hopefully motivate you to do the same
So for me, this was not a weekend warrior project. This was not easy. I know some people on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok make it seem easy when they do DIYs. This, I'm telling you the truth, guys, this is not easy. Not for me, not in this season of life, not with my time management skills at this current time. This was not it. This was hard for me. This was very hard and stressful um, because we will constantly need to use the stairs. I only had a certain amount of time I could do every day. Um, I tried my best to do it the correct way. I sanded everything by hand. I used um, citrus strip stripper to strip off the old stain. Um, I, I did everything I could right, but it was just a lot of things just going wrong or taking longer than, than I thought. Um, it was going to take, um, this was, this was, this was hard. You're calling up my phone like you did, but every morning when I wake up, I do have to, um, say using citrus strip on this was easier ish to do it really did the bulk of the work you just put it on and you wait about 30 minutes and then you come back and you use a scraper and you scrape it all off i have been using citrus strip for years we use this also on our back de deck to help strip off the old um, paint on it um, it was very easy to use. I used uh, a jug in like a quarter. We had some left over and then we went and bought a new jug. But as you can see, it just comes right off and it's so satisfying. So I did this for every single step. I started alternating steps that way I could um, work my way down without stepping all over the stripper and getting it everywhere. But um, I did this for all of the steps and that took a long time. later after all I had stripped all the steps you see there's a couple little areas that I needed to sand so I got out my little black and decker um, mouse sander and I sanded all of the areas it was good for getting in between those um, spindles and it just did a good job of getting rid of all of the leftover varnish and stain The trouble really came because I like the look of the stairs when they were sanded down, but this particular species of wood turned orange with whatever I put it on. Um, I put, I tried weather oak, I tried whitewashing, I tried um, all kinds of different stains, I tried faux finish, um, and then finally I gave up and I was like, I'm going to try my favorite stain, um, the one that I used on our beam mantle, the one I have on my ladder, um, blanket ladder. I'm going to use early American and just call it a day and I'll be happy with that. I'll just be happy with it. Well, spoiler alert, I was not happy with it because it ended up looking exactly the same color as I had stripped off. And I was so disappointed. I was ready to pull my hair out. Um, I tried a million different ways. I put a whitewash over this, not happening. Um, it's a beautiful stain and it looks good, but against my wall color and against my flooring I had downstairs, it did not look good. And I just could not believe I had spent all this time stripping and sanding and then 
restaining. It did need to be restained to begin with because it had been a while and it had been worn in several places, but it just was the same color and that was not the look that I was going for at all. So I was really stressing out. So I took a minute, I stepped back, I said, I'm going to go ahead and just let that sit. Instead of messing with it more, the stains more, I'm going to paint the things that I want paint. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that um, Zinsser Bullseye one, two, three primer on everything and then reevaluate how I feel about the stain. And the white paint, even though it was just like a first coat, it made a huge difference. I wish I had done this a lot sooner. It brightened it up a lot. So I am also not really a fan of those swirly bits on the stair sides at all. Like I feel like it's very 90s country, not even farmhouse. It's very just country. And I'm just, even though my house, I guess, can, can be considered country um, or like more traditional, I guess. I'm not, I'm just not a fan of it. And I was going to see if I could just rip them off, but they are integrated into the stairs. So the risers actually sit on those. Um, I mean the stair treads actually sit on those so if I was to take those off right now it would just be a hot mess so I am gonna see if I can put like just a thin piece of board over top of it and do something with some trim later on down the road but for now I'm just painting it white and hoping that it just doesn't stand out as much the street like an alien they say time will heal but i don't have patience you packed your things now we begin the erasing all the memories slowly start to fade in the days move so slow i know i gotta go but i can't but i can't i can't get anyway cause i'm standing my phone i don't wanna face it everything feels wrong and there's no replacing what we had is gone and it's all too late and i'm better off but i can't deal with this aching the days move so slow i know i gotta go but i can but i can i can't get most tedious malcolm was playing in the playroom right next to me and he was not happy that mama was on this side of the room and he couldn't come over um so it was a little it was a little hard to do because i had to like keep him entertained kind of talk to him sing with him as i'm trying to make sure i don't get paint everywhere and really stay in the lines um and this was kind of backbreaking to like contort my body in weird ways i'm very sorry for the angles that I got guys I wasn't really paying attention about how well I was filming I was just trying to get it done and also make sure that I get some content for you guys to enjoy I can't do with this again I can't do with this again No I can no I can cuz I'm still cuz I'm still in love.
she came from kind of turned me upside down i just don't know what to do i want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so even after i painted all of the risers and everything white it does look a lot better but i'm st i still was not happy you could tell when you saw the shots against the floor and then the color of the um the stair treads it was not it um and also it made these gaps between the sides and the risers like super obvious so i wanted to go in with my caulk gun and make sure that i closed up any gaps so it just looked uh, a little bit more seamless On that first stair, I tried to do a faux wood look, and it actually looks good on camera. I'm like, dang, it looks good on camera. It did not look good in person. It did not look good. Yeah, I, I got everyone's opinion in the house, and they did not like the way that it looked at all, and I really didn't either. So then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it in black, but I'm going to make sure I use stain. So I got uh, Minwax Classic Black, I believe, um, but it still took a minute to figure out how, how I liked it. So I wiped I wiped it on wiped it off immediately it was not the look that I was going for and then I left one on for five minutes and then I left one on for 10 minutes and the 10 minute was mwah, beautiful it was very dark classic black um and th so that was the process that I was going to use so I made sure to um do alternating steps again and left it on for 10 minutes and then went back through and wiped it off and then let that um dry for two hours and then went back into its second coat and then the next day I did the next set of stairs and repeated the process and I was much happier with the way it looked. I knew from the beginning that I wanted a black handrail and black spindles. Um, I did a black handrail with white spindles in my previous home and I just really like how classy it looked. This was the first time that I've done the black spindles as well and I was just in love. I think it looks so elegant and so upscale with the black on black. Um, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea and that is okay. but this makes my heart happy and my family is just like wow that looks so good they're so i don't know they really like it as well um and it just gets me really excited now this is still like a temporary fix um we're eventually going to get new spindles because a couple of ours are loose and cracked and we still need to replace the handrail upstairs um, because it's loose as well but for now this is just for like looks a little bit of paint um, is all it costs me and time <laughs> a lot of time but a little bit of paint um, eventually we're going to keep the black stair treads in the white like I said but we need to replace the um, couple handrails and a couple spindles no one ever cared like you care for me you're such a bright star in the dark space So fly, you got me like my, my, my. You got me like my, my, my. You got me like there's no other than you now, babe. Na, 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 cause you got me like my, my, my. Like, oh my god, don't let anyone. So this took many, many, many layers of paint. I think it was like two coats of primer um, and about four coats of the black um, paint on the 
spindles and the handrail and I think it was like two or three coats of the white um, enamel on top of the primer as well like this took forever you guys I worked my butt off you're wondering where I've been this is where I've been I've been working my butt off on this project to get it finished and I'm so thrilled with it if I had to do it I'd do it again um, even though it stressed me out but I just think it looks so pretty and so gorgeous and I'm so excited to decorate this area for Christmas but this caused a lot of dust and a lot of mayhem in my entryway so now I need to clean it all up and put it back together again so like I said I can start decorating for Christmas This dresser is usually against the stair wall, but we're going to be putting my big Christmas tree right there soon. So I'm just going to leave it here. That way I'm not moving it back and forth. I thought about moving back over there just to style it, but I, I just, I was tired. I was tired. So I just wanted to wipe everything down from the dust and make it look a little bit pretty. Um, but this, this um, dresser doesn't normally go here, but it will work for, um, for now, for, for the Christmas season, it'll work over here, but I just wanna make sure everything is clean and tidy. I did accidentally get a few like little spots of paint on the floor and I gotta say this little steam mop helped get those up right away so that's what I was like kind of picking off the floor the steam mop going over it with the hot steam really lifted it up so I just used my nail to kind of um, get any little white spots or black spots that happen to fall on the floor it really does a good job of like blending in um, I also ordered this new rug for in front of the door I haven't had a rug in front of the door in quite a while um, it is gray. I know it's gray, um, but I just wanted something a little bit more neutral in there just because we have a lot going on, especially with Christmas and different red and greens going on. So I just wanted something a little bit neutral. Um, after Christmas, I want to find a nice big cozy rug to put right here in the, um, like maybe a round rug in the, uh, stair corner. I think that would look really pretty as well. We've been on and off again and again 
I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it got you excited to decorate or redo a room in your home. I am so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I do need to do a little bit of touch-ups here and there. I don't know if you can tell in video, but some of the white got on the black and some of the black got on the white, but I'm not going to nitpick it. I'm happy with it um, and I have plenty of time to do touch-ups, but um, thank you so much. And I'm going to throw it back to what it looked like and do kind of like a first moved in to way after befores and afters. Um, so stick around for those. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. So you don't miss out on any of my uploads and thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in